rapid spire. Very famous. Well, it's famous around here. So I would not want to be behind that lorry here. So we're in the gorge now. Calver. This is a lovely area. I might look at uh, bringing people here. Look at that, wow! Gorgeous! We My God, look at that. Wow, how about that for a view? What shirgly. Wow. Manchester in the distance over there. It's all four by fours, isn't it? Pedal, 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 another old guy. Stunning, absolutely stunning. I'm guessing. Oops. All oh, right, it's no brickwork. Oh. Hello YouTubers, well I'm here in, uh, in Derbyshire and I've just visited a friend of mine from university days who actually got me into biking in the first place and, um, and now I'm on my way back to my sister's and we're going to go the scenic route Look at that, look at that scenery. Look at, look at this. This is fantastic. I mean, the roads are quite small, but they tend to be fairly well maintained, as you can see. And especially on this particular road, we're gonna to get to see some absolutely stunning scenery. So this is just a little bit of a view of, uh, of what Derbyshire has to offer. And one thing you might also notice is the, the GoPro is in a slightly different uh, position. So I used to have it 
uh, on the back of the mirror. As it turned out, even Araldite wasn't good enough to, to keep that stuck there. Uh, but now I've got the suction mount, I've got that on the mirror there. I can still use the mirror, I can still see behind me. And the suction mount is also going to be useful for sticking the, the GoPro to different places on the bike uh, to get some different viewpoints, which is great. So one of the key things about riding in these sorts of uh, situations is to watch out for other vehicles. A lot of the vehicles that you'll come across are, um, are going to be big 4x4s in these sorts of parts. Um, taking up lots of room so you just need to be extra careful so even though this is a 60 mile an hour limit road I'm I'm actually currently only doing just over 30 because it's not really uh, it doesn't feel particularly safe to be shooting along at 60 and um, and also by taking it a little bit steady you get a chance to properly appreciate things like this, the views. And of course, just uh, so you know and are aware, whenever I move my head over to the side like that, my eyes are still forwards. I'm still looking where I'm going. So I'm able to give you a view around but still remain safe. And now look at this. Look at look at this view here. Isn't that absolutely fantastic? And it's edge, it's scary. <laughs> but that is just that is just amazing. And that's the sort of views that you can expect to get all over the Peak District. And we're going that way. I think that uh, that quad looked a little bit um, over full. <laughs> And yes, you do get buses around these uh, tiny little roads, so you have to watch out for them as well. Lots of farms, of course, so always the possibility of tractors. Overtaking, approaching the brow of a hill like that, very unsafe. And lorries, of course, lorries on these roads. Wow, look at that view. So that's the view that we were looking at earlier. And there's a, uh, probably a reservoir down there. 